What is going on, everybody? It is Fonz DeFalco, part of Review and Preview with Four Corners. Yes, it's only me today, only a solo episode. I know I've got a, my older studio here. Uh, definitely new studio will be coming down the line. But I had to make this quick video, breaking news, or sort of breaking news because it came out uh, a day after. But probably one of the more shocking news in all of professional wrestling as Cody Rhodes, along with his wife, Brandy Rhodes, are leaving AEW, which was announced a few days ago, actually happened Right after Four Corners went live, and reminder, if you haven't checked out Four Corners, you can check us out live every Monday on Review and Preview's Facebook and YouTube channel. But right after it happened, Cody Rhodes announced that he was leaving AEW, and it kind of shocked myself and a lot of other fans of professional wrestling. And you'll get more of Mike and Albert's thoughts and more of my thoughts next week as the details kind of go on of what happened and whatnot and where you're going to go. Because in the world of professional wrestling, things can change in the matter of days, even minutes or hours or whatever. But I'm going to pull up Cody Rhodes' official announcement here on his Instagram page. I'm going to pull it up right now and read it to you guys on what he exactly said. So here we go. When Cody Rhodes posted one day ago at the time of recording this video and the time this video was up. I have loved my time at AEW. Amazing locker room, amazing fans, amazing people. The revolution... So here it is, according to his Instagram page, he posted this. I'm going to read this for you word for word. It's a long one, so bear with me here. I have loved my time in AEW. Amazing locker room, amazing fans, amazing people. The revolution was indeed televised, and I've been incredibly lucky to be a part of that. First, I want to thank Tony Khan. He's taken the baton and run with it, and it was an honor to work with him for, the, for him and to know him on a personal level. He's a beautiful soul. Obviously, I need to thank my incredible wife and the mother of my girl, Brandy and all of her love and support throughout this journey together and the amazing relationship she fostered with Culture City and the American Heart Association. I also need to thank Nick and Matt Jackson, these two, whether they know it or not, took an undesired and not confident little cub and gifted me the confidence to become the leader of the pack. Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, Chicken, we started the fire. I must thank Tim with Keith M, Greg W, and the amazing production crew and understood and captured the vision with such grace. I can't name anybody... Jesus. I can't name everybody, but thank God. I can't name everybody, but thank you to, to Mega, Margaret, Harrington, Jeff Jones, Dana, Tony Schiavone, Byrne, Raff, and the hardest worker in the company, QT Marshall, for propping me up and kicking me in the ass when I was running f on fumes. I must thank all my kiddos, MJF, Jade, Sammy, Darby, Lee, Ricky, Tom, The Guns, Brock, Velvet, Nyla, Aubrey, Turner, Vanilla, Solo, Spears, Julia, Anna, Will, Wardlow, Sonny, Fuego, One, and of course, Minus One, which is Brody Lee's son, Brody Lee Jr. While we're at it, give Jade the Cody Vader. Also need to take a moment to thank the great partners at Warner Media, including Brett, Sam, and the rest of the team. I have so many milestones and beautiful memories of this renaissance. Through sweat, blood, tears, little fire, literal fire, and all that, I left it all on the mat. Everything pales in comparison to the final contribution I was empowered to lead to the company, the community, and outreach team. In the most inward moments, your outward behavior and your ability to take fame, influence, and to do something of value for the communities you visit, whether the cameras are on or off, is the highest honor. I am confident Amanda Humor will lead the department with style. I'm so proud of my creation, the contributions, and the items I supported or collaborated with, us, with such wonderful professionals. Thank you, fans. Y'all did the work. Let's live forever. Now, that was a long one. I do apologize for the long thing, but I had to read a word for word on what Cody Rhodes said. And it's really interesting to see because if you are aware, if you're a professional wrestling fan, you know, but for the those that don't know, Cody Rhodes left WWE around 2016. He was a longtime member of the company. More mid-card. I know there's a lot of people, including myself, that thought he should have been more in the main event level. He left the company to take a huge gamble, worked on the independency, and eventually started up AEW with Tony Khan as the backer and the likes of the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Hangman Adam Page, and even like guys like Chris Jarrett who came into the fall and started a brand new wrestling company from the ground up. And I will say this, he's a big contribution to the company. We know that. AEW is one of the most popular and one of the favorite promotions. I will say this, there's been times where AEW has done so much more than WWE as far as production with talent, matches, pay-per-views, the company itself. Obviously, WWE will always be the powerhouse. It's been such a long lead for so long. But you see other companies like AEW, New Japan, Impact kind of taking the fold as 
working as a competition and being more of a higher power kind of with, well, not higher power, but you, you get what I'm saying, more, more popular. And I had to make this video and I'm wondering what happens now? Because it's very, it was shocking. I never expected Cody Rhodes to leave and his wife, Brandon. I don't want to keep, I don't want to forget her also, but they were stables in the company. I know, and a lot of people were saying as the weeks and the months went on, Cody was taking more, he was saying he didn't want to be the authority, he kind of bashed WWE of what they did. And then kind of started doing the what exactly guys like Triple H did, taking over, getting title shots and whatever, too. And I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with the fold. There's been no other news really on what Cody is going to do in the future. He may be going to impact. He may be in the independent scene. Even talks of him possibly coming back to WWE. And that would be a shot. Uh, not a shot, but that would be more of like a shock, I would say. A shock to the wrestling if Cody Rhodes comes back. But if he does, what's going to happen? Are we going to see the Stardust character? Are we going to see him? At WrestleMania, which is coming up in a couple of months here, I have no idea. It was a shocker to me. I didn't expect him to ever leave AEW. It'll be interesting to see. I want to know your guys' thoughts down down below here. Lovely, go back and forth. And you'll hear more of our thoughts as the news kind of goes more into the details of what's happening. But if I had to pick right now off the top of my head what's going to happen, I think he's definitely going to take some time off. I know he just um, a few months ago, he had a brand he gave they gave birth to their first child. So I want to say congratulations to that. I know they're doing on the they're having a show too, their own little reality show, kind of similar to what Miz, the Miz does with Maurice, the Miz and Mrs. But they have their own show. I forgot to name it off the top of my head. I think they're going to do more business stuff on the side first for a little bit. He might make some appearances on some independent matches, some independent scenes here and there. Maybe he'll show up to impact. I think maybe it wouldn't shock me by WrestleMania season. We'll see him back and maybe in WWE. Maybe it was a one-off appearance and whatnot, too. You could do some storylines there. You could no doubt do something there, and I'll get a lot of the fans talking. Will he be back in WWE full-time? I don't really see that happening. I see him maybe making a one-off appearance here and there. I see him coming back to AEW eventually, maybe in the next year or so. We have no idea. But I just want to make a quick video kind of talk about Cody Rhodes being leaving AEW and seeing what's happening. I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Definitely let me know. Let us all know. And check us out on Monday. Me, Mike DeSanto, and Albert Donor. We're going to give more of our thoughts into it as the days come on here. It's now Wednesday. This uh, video will be dropping. So things can change from Wednesday to Monday. We have episode 22 of Four Corners. It's going to be interesting. Let me know where you think Cody Rhodes is going to go. Are you shocked by this? We're going to see what happens. I think AEW, at the end of the day, will still be in good hands. There's still so much talent in AEW, like the Bucks, like Omega, Jurassic Express. You got Jericho. I keep mentioning the repeating names. You have so much other talent. And I really did like that whole kind of – it was a long thing that Cody posted, but he shows that he really cared about this company. He helped build it. It was – it was he was part of it, and he's leaving it on a good note. So we'll see what happens. Let me know down below. Again, like I said, what happens, you can check out Four Corners every Monday at 7 o'clock right here on Review Preview's Facebook page and YouTube channel. And all the other shows that are here on Review and Preview, like Tricks and Picks, Review and Preview. 3ND is going to be coming back very soon, so definitely check that out. So is Big Blue Avenue. It's taking its season break now, obviously, because the New York Giants season's over. But it'll be back when football season's kind of coming closer again. We just ended off with the Super Bowl. And we have Hitting for the Cycle. Whenever baseball season decides to come back, you'll check out Hank and Dicta with Hitting for the Cycle with, with, the, with them coming back. So it's going to be definitely exciting. Check out everything with Review and Preview down below. Give us a follow. Give us a like. Do what you got to do. Comment down below on everything. Check out all the other shows. If you're a wrestling fan like other stuff, you're going to want to check out everything Review and Preview. Once again, I'm Fonz DeFalco. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And we'll see what happens in the world of professional wrestling because it is so unpredictable.